How you guys doing today? This is Derek House with DHFTNS.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a sriracha meat sauce. I'm hungry, so let's make this. The first thing you're gonna do is take out a large stovetop pan that has a cover. If you don't have one, I do post a link in the description below to the exact one that I'm using. It's only around 30 or $40 shipped and will last you forever. Now go ahead and put your cover off to the side, put your burner on medium heat, and then take one tablespoon of olive oil and put it into your stovetop pan, and then just let that heat up. Once your pan heats up, you're gonna brown your lean beef. As for how much we're using, one and a quarter pounds or 20 ounces, and I'm using 96.4. If you can't find 96.4, anything over 90% lean will be fine. As you're browning it, just keep chopping it up as you see I'm doing. Once your beef has browned, take your pan off the heat and drain any of the fat in it. Take out one red onion and chop it. I chop mine so they're about that big. Turn your burner on high heat. Add your chopped onions in and you're gonna saute your onions into your beef. You're gonna wanna keep stirring everything around for three to five minutes. Once your onions start to turn somewhat translucent, turn your burner on low heat. Add in one jar, which is 23.5 ounces, or 667 grams of a traditional no salt added pasta sauce. Stir your sauce in. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. half a teaspoon of garlic salt, two teaspoons of minced garlic or four cloves of regular garlic, and last, 10 teaspoons or 50 grams of sriracha. Stir everything together. Once everything is mixed together, put the cover on and you're just gonna let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes on low heat. As for the calories in the whole recipe, there's 1,235, 47 grams of fat, 82 grams of carbs, and 121 grams of protein. So if you divide this into five servings, there's 247 calories a serving, around nine grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. After 15 to 20 minutes, turn your burner off and pull your sauce off the heat and there is your sriracha meat sauce. As you guys saw, the meat sauce is done. You get a ton of it. I put mine over some pasta, so now I'm just gonna try it. Not too salty at all, like a lot of meat sauces are. The sriracha in there has just enough spice. It's not too spicy, absolutely delicious. My favorite thing about this recipe is you can pretty much put it over anything. Quinoa, rice, pasta like I did. You could even put it in a burrito and eat it that way too. All right guys, I just wanna thank you for watching. If you liked my sriracha meat sauce recipe, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep making these. If you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to, you can click right there on the screen coming up. By subscribing, you'll get an email every week telling you I upload a new video. Comments or suggestions go down below. I do try and respond to everybody. Thank you guys again for watching. I got some meat sauce to finish. Stay healthy.